Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here tonight and we're going to talk about a little utility we have called User Installed Packages. Now this is a little utility that's going to make a list of all the user installed packages on your current system and help you transfer or not necessarily transfer but reinstall those same packages on a later system for whatever purpose you want. I'm going to take all of my uh, I'm going to take the, the, the I want to get the installed packages from this system onto the Fluxbox system that we installed in a previous video. I still have that laying around. So we're going to take all this from all we're going to try to install the packages from my production system and put it on that other Fluxbox system. Let's just bring it up. User installed packages. It will create a list of installed packages that the, hopefully that the that the user has installed. So it's not going to give you everything that's installed on the machine it's only going to give you what you specifically asked it to install so let's let's see what we get and it looks like we also have an option here if there's already been a list generated to try to install those packages again on this on on the on the on the target system so right now we're going to make a list of packages and here we go. So it's given me, I've installed 28 packages. That seems reasonable. I've got some support, some dev stuff that I've installed. Google Chrome Stable, okay. Uh, Handbrake, KSnip. Yeah, this, this, looks, this looks about right. I, off the top of my head, I can't think of anything that's not on the list. Um, it's not going to do flat packs. I do have one flat pack installed. I use KD. Caden Live in the Flatpak version. That's not on here. This is only going to do things that come out of dev packages or out of repos. So if you install from source, it's not going to get it. And if you installed uh, a Flatpak or I guess a Snap, if you if you did snaps, uh, it's not going to get that either. So I'm going to save the list. Let's see. Yep. Uh, I'll throw that in my Documents folder so I can find it later. Okay, so the next part is going to be see what happens when we try to install on the another on the other machine. Back in a GIF. Okay, so here we are. I'm back in. This is the Fluxbox installation that we set up a couple of days ago, last week I guess at this point, on the ButterFS partition. So this is a totally different system. I haven't really done any setup on it other than changing my Fluxbox toolbar around to something that I'm more used to. Um, so let's uh, let's call up user installed programs. User installed packages, excuse me. And we're gonna open the previously saved list. Now, um, it was in my documents folder on the other machine though, so we're gonna go pull it up this way. Documents. <laughs> UIP list. Okay, and this is giving me all the packages and I can deselect them if I want. Okay, I did not know that. That's kind of handy. So if we don't if we're not ready to do everything all at once, we can do that. I'm going to deselect VirtualBox at the moment because I don't want to go through the whole uh, module building that will happen. But let's uh let's go ahead and hit okay. See if anything comes up as missing. <clears throat> So the following package is not available or cannot be installed. Google Chrome Stable, the web browser from Google. Okay, so this is maybe not surprising because it's not, it's a proprietary application. It's not in the MX repo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the list. That's something that I need to do. UIP missing. We'll just throw that in the old home folder there so we can find it later. And it looks like it's going to go ahead and install everything else. That's kind of cool. Okay, and now it's doing all the installations of all the applications that were installed on my main production system being installed now on this new install, with the exception of Google Chrome, uh, which of course is installable from the MX package installer. So that's kind of it for user installed packages. That's kind of handy. It made a list of what I had installed, and on the next system, it tried to install all those things. It let me select things I didn't want to install right now, and it gave me a list of things that I had that wouldn't be installed so that I could track those packages down later. Pretty handy. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mxlinux.org or throw up a post.
at forum.mxlinux.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.